All right, we're back in studio here. Michael MD in the house, massive IT, our tech expert here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, always helping you win in any marketplace. That's our goal of the show. Over 10 years on air now, and the strategy is to be that consumer advocate, uh, bringing on local area business owners, attorneys, CPAs, financial advisors, all types of different expert contributors here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. And our favorite part of the day is when we receive the calls from the audience saying, hey, I'm looking to buy or sell, looking to get a mortgage, want to get some technical advice uh, for my company. I've got a big company I run, and I want to talk to Michael MD about massive IT and how I can help. Uh, So reach out to the hotline or check out ConsumerQB.com. You can see links there to all of our expert contributors online at ConsumerQB.com. Also, subscribe to the YouTube channel. It would really mean the world to us. Uh, Brandon Rhyme. R-E-Q-B, Brandon Rhymes Realty. Uh, you can find us on YouTube there as well. Michael MD, back in studio. And what are you seeing out there, man? I'm hearing a lot about hacking. I've, I think I shot you a couple text messages as I, as I hear these stories, and I'm sure you already got them, but I guess you humor me and say, yeah, I've seen that one already, Brandon. But uh, yes. yeah, a lot of hacking going on, man. Yeah, it's it's every day. It's, yeah. it's everywhere you go. It's in everything that you touch, see. It just happens every day. We, what we don't see is what happens behind the scenes. We're all yeah. sitting... You know, sitting here having this conversation, but while we are, hundreds, thousands of attacks are taking place around the world. Yeah, all the time. Ne- it never lets up. Happens in in commercial business. You know, your business, my business. Happens in the government, state, city, county, federal, yep. military. It's happening every day. We yeah. just don't see it. No, absolutely. And and so take us behind the scenes. Then what 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 do you? picture going on behind the scenes or what do you know is going on behind the scenes like is it really kind of like this team's tech nerds versus that team's geek sp- squads and stuff i mean how what are we doing behind the scenes for that it's way more organized than that yeah so there's there's an amazon for the hackers they huh. can go buy their tools they can go buy their technology wow. their databases their information you know they could buy your address my address my wow. credit card number your credit card number they just go to regular Amazon, plug it in, and purchase whatever they want. Have it drop ship somewhere, right? We've we've all seen these stories, heard these stories about uh, my neighbor. This empty house was getting these deliveries. This guy would show up and just pick up the delivery. When they confronted him, he said, "Oh, it's my cousin. You know, oh, it, it got misshipped to the wrong address. I'm just picking it up because wow. you know it was supposed to come to my house." Yeah. But when they dig a little deeper, the police show up. The guy disappears. The story changes. You know, that's that's what's wow. going on is yeah. it's way more organized. They're looking for uh, opportunities, right? Natural disasters, right? Remember Katrina oh, and yeah. all of the things that happened? Uh, this Maui thing that's going on right now, natural disaster, you're going to see all kinds of scams about uh, relief fund, donate, right. charity, this account, right? Make this donation. Here's a link. Click it. Do all these things. Wow. They're taking advantage of people's generosity, good nature, trust, yep. good faith. And they're playing into that. They're playing into that 100%. That's social engineering. Yeah. Right? One of the major uh, components of, of attacks is social engineering. Yeah. They're not hacking firewalls anymore. Mm. They're hacking people. Yeah. Right? You're the human firewall. Right. And they're hacking you. Right? Wow. And they're using AI in some cases. I've seen – I've actually had a friend that was – you know, a, I'll leave it at that. A friend that had uh, essentially her, her daughter received a voice call. And they had utilized her voice, the mother's voice, to convince the daughter, yeah, yeah, pay him the money. I'm in the backseat of the car. Somehow they help, re-engineered, help. yeah, help me, help me. So the daughter lost you know, a good amount of money. I think it was less than 10 grand, but still uh, over five, I think. But it was in that range. And, you know, scams every day, man. There's a lot of stuff going on. So what do we do as consumers? How can we do be diligent when you know they can easily just take a picture of a listing of mine for example online turn around recreate that as a rental scam now mail certified funds you know there you go red light number one ding 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 certified why do they need certified funds right yeah you know so start thinking about oh venmo mean money no we don't do that in real estate we don't venmo money we put it into a title company or a real estate attorney that holds the funds right Mm -hmm. so what are some of the key takeaways for our audience in terms of consumer advocate tips this is a daunting task there's so many levels to this uh you can you can put the money into escrow right with an attorney or whoever you want to put it into but you also have to know that where you're putting the money that they're secure yeah because if they get hacked they might send you 
wire instructions. They might yeah. send you a payment link. They might send you yeah. transfer instructions. Can you trust that those transfer instructions are legitimate? Right. And the way that you verify this, because this is daunting, is if you receive an email and it's it's something important. If you're going to transfer fifty thousand yeah. dollars or a hundred thousand dollars or more, right? If you're going to transfer ten dollars, if it's important to you, yep. Pick up the phone, call them. Yep. Talk to them. Say, hey, I just got your email. I just want to verify the transaction. You know, this is the account number, the last four digits. You know. Yep. You know, validate that what you got is legitimate. Yeah, exactly. Right? If it's important to you. Yeah, absolutely. If, if you don't care about losing them fifty thousand dollars, well, you know, drop in the bucket. I yeah. wish I wish we were all there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And the and the FBI is not gonna help you because it's I think it's less than a million dollars or some super high number. I've heard stories from different title companies about that, uh, where people did. They they click the send button and you know, pretty much once you hit send, you're in trouble. Um I want to switch gears also. Uh, so we're talking with Michael MD, massive IT, he's a local business owner, uh, support the local economy by supporting Michael and his business. And of course, you know, can help you with your personal computers, your business, your, your networking, your systems, uh, all of the different technical jargon that you may have a question about. Uh, but there's also, you know, different types of hacking. So we kind of focus a little bit more on the financial side there, but there's a lot going on in terms of, uh, you know, biohacking. There's, uh, uh, you know, we had one in Oldsmar just a year and a half, two years ago. Water system. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the water system. So everything we have today, refrigerators, toasters, TVs, everything is connected to the internet, yep. right? Everything is monitored remotely from somewhere else. And the water system is no different. It's connected to the internet, right? And the attackers can literally sit anywhere in the world and probe and scan and look for targets. And once they identify something that may have a vulnerability, then they're going to zero in on that and focus all their time and effort into getting into that thing. Yeah. Right? And that happened in Oldsmar with the water system yep. is that they found a way in. Right. How did they how they did it exactly? I'm not sure. But it was either a a physical you know, intrusion that they got into internally somehow got inside, yep. infected a PC on the inside. Maybe there was something exposed to the internet, like a web server, a mail server, FTP, who knows what it might be. They compromised that system and got through the firewall. The firewall was doing its job, but the system on the inside was vulnerable. And compromised they got maybe yeah. by yeah, And once employee. they did that, they started manipulating the controls of the water system making it essentially toxic yeah they were upping one of the different uh chlorine know, levels you know some whatever level of something yeah yeah, yeah. and Made it would it kill people if they, if, people if they didn't catch it fortunately we had smart people there who noticed it right and you know took action yeah absolutely uh there's also an interesting story that came to mind as you were talking uh there was a casino that got robbed where they went in through the fish tank or something along with the fish tank lights or something along those lines the lights in the fish the toaster. tank yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, it, it, you know, why does that why does that fish tank have to be online, first of all? You know, if you got all this money and all these different, you know, potential. You, you know, want for, to monitor it, the, the water temperature, the, the salinity, you know, all these things you want to know. Yeah. Everything. We, we're junkies for information. Right. So we want everything connected. And we want it on our mobile phone, right? We want to see everything. Our cameras, our phones, our, our fish tanks, our refrigerator, our stove, you know, our dishwasher, yeah. right? Yeah. All these things we want access to and know about. We're information junkies, and we want to see that. But in our business, we call it the attack surface vector. The mm. more things you connect online, right. the, the bigger your attack surface vector is. And yeah. our, in our business, we always want to shrink yeah. that attack surface. Right, that makes sense. So if I don't need my dishwasher online, yeah, don't connect it. Yeah. I right? see some of these commercials like refrigerators. Oh, they'll tell you when you're out of this or that. No, no, no. When I you're out of milk. Too much. I don't need it. Too much. Too, too much. I don't want that. Um, I wanted to ask you also, do you have any, uh, you know, recent or, or success stories over the last, you know, whatever, six months or so uh, where you come in and you said, hey, I had a business owner. He was looking at this challenge and we were able to help with this advice or this is something we recommended. Uh, su recent success story, Michael? You know, there's there's a number of them. And one of the biggest successes we're seeing right now with companies is automation. And typically, when you onboard a new employee, it takes hours, if not days, to onboard that employee. You got to buy the laptop, you got to open it up, you got to create a user, set a password, yep. you know, download the software, install it, click, 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 okay, okay, okay. 
and then customize it, get them logged in, and then finally box it all back up, put it in a shipping container or a shipping box, and ship it out to that employee if they're not there with you. Because right? they're working from home? Because they're working from home or they're in another city, another state, somewhere like that, right? Yep. So that whole process requires shipping from the manufacturer, taking it out, doing whatever you got to do all day, you know, hours of download, waiting for the download, clicking OK to install, all this sort of stuff. Four hours, eight hours, just depends, right? And then you got to ship it out. So you got another shipping cost. So what we've done to combat that is automate that process. Hmm. So we can drop ship from Dell, HP, Lenovo, whatever, and have that delivered directly to the employee, user accounts created in minutes. We provide that to them via secure messages. And then they just open it up, take it out of the box, log in with their username and password, tells them reset your password right away because mm-hmm. we don't want to know the password. And then it automatically downloads all the software, all the security, sets it up, customizes it, and in 30 minutes, they're up and running, ready to go, ready to do business. Didn't cost you time for the uh, headquarters corporate employee to set it up, shipping uh, back out to the employee, and then have that employee waiting to, you know, get it, receive it, get it set up, customize it themselves. We automate all that process. So we take it from hours and days to 30 minutes yeah wow that's awesome because you're saving a ton of time you're saving money every time somebody's touching that application they're not doing something else so they got the opportunity cost of what they could be doing uh, that's right. and, and there's there's so many ways that that can streamline your business and then of course once they receive it they got to train on it and figure out you know how to utilize these new programs that's right and there's always all you know new changing that's the one you know the number one sustainable uh, competitive in, be- in business, competitive advantage in business is the ability to outlearn and out implement your competition. And that's Automation. what I love what we're doing with, you know, Keller Williams with Libby and Coastal Elite. We're, we're adding all these new programs. It's I, I call it kind of a Rolex version of Keller Williams. Mm-hmm. But I, I tell my team that it's like the number one thing you can do is outlearn. So, hey, instead of watching whatever it is, the housewives of this or Netflix that, you know, Sharpen your skills. Get online. Look at look at some online training. Invest in your sales abilities, right? Or invest in your technical knowledge of uh, whatever devices you might be utilizing. Yeah, if you're a business owner, you want to be thinking about how do I take these redundant, mundane tasks off of my staff? Yeah. And how do I get them focused on revenue generating tasks, That's right. Right? You know, this is a business owner, right? You're in business to make money. Amen. And you need to focus their efforts and time on things that are going to be productive. Yep. Not on, uh, you know, taking a PC out of a box, typing in a username and a password and clicking OK for an hour, 30 minutes, two hours, four hours. Right? Yeah. Right. That's not earning you anything. Right. Right. So business owners need to be thinking about automation, optimization. I love it. 727-263-3707. You can call or text that line. We'll put you in touch with Michael MD. 727-263-3707. Uh, tech expert Michael MD. Massive IT. Uh, more with Michael coming up here. Also going to touch on this southern border. Uh, talk about threats. Talk about all the different stuff happening. Uh, we had presidential candidate RFK uh, on the Tucker Carlson. I'm going to play a clip from his show, The Southern Border Visit. What did they learn? What did he see? And and it's going to, you know, wow, it's shocking. Uh, coming up here, Michael MD as well on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Hey, follow us online. We'd love to connect with you at Brandon Rhymes one at CQB Show on Instagram, as well as YouTube, Consumer Quarterback Show as well. We'll be right back here. Check us out online. Hey, I'm Ken Shamrock, and you're here with Consumer Quarterback Show. And I say, Brandon Rhymes, knock out your competition. All right. Welcome back. Brandon Rhyme here. You know, speaking of the southern border, uh, this movie, Sound of Freedom, really opened up a lot of people's eyes. And it's over, well over $150 million as far as uh, the revenues created, generated from that. Jim Caviezel and a great movie, Sound of Freedom. If you haven't seen it, you got to check it out. Uh, it's really awesome. And I saw it like the first day it came out. Mira Servino in that in that as well. Uh, tells the true life of uh, Tim Ballard. If you haven't seen the movie, got to see it. And it really highlights what is kind of going on in the darkness. Uh, called human trafficking, sex trafficking, and the way that these kids are being sold. Uh, But recently, RFK, he's a presidential candidate, uh, was on Tucker Carlson. I'm going to play a clip here, uh, and it was describing what he saw at the southern border, and I guess he's coming out also with a documentary about that as well. So here's RFK on Tucker. For children, 
um, those children are separated out. We, uh, uh, the Colombian family had lost a child girl and a teenage girl. And, you know, the father was desperate and they, they, they she had been separated from them by the cartels before they passed. Oh my gosh. And 85,000 children have disappeared in this process. It, it, it's, it's monstrous. So all the, so if I can, but then let me tell you this. They get into our country and there's a lot of people who are well-meaning, mainly liberal people who care, who you know see themselves as deeply caring people who say, we should have sanctuary cities and we should, you know, these people should be treated with dignity. But what really happens to them in real life is that they get here and then they, for, for seven years, none of them are legal. So they are now subject to terrible exploitation by uh, unscrupulous employers all over this country. Exploitation by employers, exploitation by traffickers, exploitation by uh, the political class, mostly Democrats, allowing this to happen. Of course, some rhinos mixed in there as well. Uh, but, you know, can you imagine uh, a lot of us have kids, a lot of us had grandkids. Can you imagine being separated from your family and them just the cartel taking your teenage daughter and you know what they're going to do. She's going to end up in one hotel room from the next hotel room on drugs for years and years and years, eventually maybe committing suicide if, if they if she can. Uh, that's what's happening. Eighty five thousand kids have disappeared at the southern border and that probably who knows that number may be super low. Uh, and, and it's just, you know, it's thanks to, uh, you know, crooked politicians, you know, that we have in the, you know, in the White House allowing this to happen. It's like, hey, oh, Trump had the border locked down. He had this wall. We had some, you know, really awesome numbers there. And, and the new administration, the illegitimate administration comes in and says, oh, we can't have that. We got to change. We got to reverse every policy that this guy had because, you know, he's he's evil and he's been indicted four times now by uh, the political class, the elites. So. Anyways, there's uh, my take on the southern border, but what a cool clip uh, with RFK. And the roles are reversed. You know, they're, they are uh, looking for votes any way they can. Uh, jailing their political uh, adversaries is one way they're trying to do that as well now. Uh, but let's switch it back to local here, bringing it back. Uh, we've got Michael MD, massive IT on the Consumer Quarterback Show. And other other strategies or other tips that you think about also, you know, because there's so much happening uh, in this business and tech space. What else are you seeing out there, Michael? Uh, for primarily, it's security focused, right? That's what's happening. So in, in our space, there's two things that are going on that are the major drivers. And it's, like I said, automation for optimizing your business and, and the operations and productivity. And then it's the security, which is protecting yourself, right? It's, it's on the defense of what could potentially happen to you and cost you in reputation, cost you financially, you know, cost you your business. Uh, those are things that, that the companies and even government is beginning to take notice of. And we're spending the majority of our time doing one of those two things, either automating your business or protecting it. Yeah. That's where we're spending 90% of our time. Yeah. Increasing the efficiencies. The more the more that you can increase the efficiencies and, and utilize technology in a positive way. What are you seeing in the spaces of, you know, artificial intelligence and some of the AI and, and other techs? You know, something interesting that I've been researching lately is, uh, and we, I think we talked about this previously, about ethics and morality. And, you know, we're moving more and more responsibilities into the AI space, meaning, uh, you know, drones, for example. Right. Going out to – used to be for surveillance. They had cameras. Now drones have guns, missiles, bombs, right? Wow. And they can – they are now making a decision, right? They're, they're contemplating letting the AI make a decision on whether you're an enemy combatant or a civilian. Yeah. Right. Or domestic terrorists, a.k.a. in quotation marks. Right? Correct. Yeah. And that's that's where this is headed is that mm -hmm. we're we're going to let a machine, an algorithm make a human decision wow. about what to do. Think about all the training that law enforcement, military goes through. Yeah. You know what they call the kill houses. Where they go through, Yeah. Yep. And they have to kick down this door and poof, pops up a family with a little <laughs> girl, you know, and it's like, do you shoot them? Do you not shoot? Them? Right. You know? You, you pass or fail, right? If, right. You, if you shoot the little girl, then you failed. Yep. And so there's a lot of training that goes into that. And they're moving that responsibility and, well, contemplating it into an AI. 
Yeah. And, and we've seen dogs in New York too. Have you have you seen that? I remember doing that story a while back. They mm-hmm. had these these dogs, robot dogs that they're using in New York. Yeah. Yeah. So these these are the things that we're having to contemplate and think about, right? We're already um just overwhelmed with the whole phishing and dishing, right? Voicemail, uh email links and scams and things we have to look out for, natural disasters that we're yep. being, you know, uh influenced on. Uh, the media, right? There's a different bias in public media, mainstream media about what's going on in politics and yep. government, who did do something, who didn't do something, who's a good guy, who's a bad guy, yep. all those sorts of things. But I think in, in general, as as just a general citizen of the United States, I think I could say what most everybody's thinking is we don't really care about one individual and whether they're right or wrong or good or bad, what we care about is the results. Mm -hmm. Why are these things still happening? Why do we still have the homeless? Why do we still have the immigration problems? Yeah. The the trafficking as a result? Why aren't we just doing something about that? Yeah, no, absolutely. And And there's in that interview with RFK, he goes on and he was talking with Tucker about, you know, again, the amount of dollars that were sent over to Ukraine fighting a proxy war with Russia versus our homeless people in these states, our homeless veterans that are still, you know, trying to get, acclimated you know ptsd dealing with all these different issues a lot of the money could definitely be used uh back home uh where it should be instead of being sent overseas by the way uh pumping every dollar we print uh we're weakening our dollar and we're becoming vulnerable now to uh lose that world uh currency status so yeah 30 seconds back to you i think all that circles back around to the tech question right what's going on all of these things are going on. Yeah. You can be attacked, you know, personally, you know, your business could be attacked. We're seeing these things in politics, but I think it all ties back to uh, our ethics, our morality, and our, our critical thinking of ourselves. Yeah. And what do we see and what do we want and hold other people accountable yeah. for those things, right? Yeah, exactly. Because Critical when- thinking, that's a key key word there a couple yep. words yep. critical thinking michael md massive it what's the website my friend www.massiveit.com massiveit.com check them out online michael md our tech expert uh thank you for that great stuff there yeah. all right we also had nick shriver on the program today covered a lot of ground and follow us online we'd love to connect with you and please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness do something kind for one another be a force for good in the community and we'll see you next time right here on the consumer quarterback show consumer QB.com. You've been listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Whether it's real estate, consumer, or financial advice, let Brandon call your next play.